Discover the growth trajectories of this surprising trio. All three companies have solid market lead and revenue expansion momentum. Artelix. It experienced a solid surge in revenue based on the successful commercialization of IBS RELA. Despigar. The company delivered growth in gross bookings, reflecting the high demand for its services across Latin America. Maytech. The identity technology company holds rapid growth in its deposits and identity business segments. Let's dive in. The clock is ticking. Here are the three stocks set to explode in the next quarter. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Finding the next great investment is alluring, almost like a siren song. For this, one must possess a crystal ball to identify the stocks about to soar, elevating portfolios to unprecedented heights. Oak, let's set aside the crystal ball. Let's dive into three titans in their own fields with stories full of potential and promise. To begin with, there is a groundbreaking therapy for irritable bowel syndrome that derives the first one's rapid climb. And then there's the second one, the behemoth of Latin American travel, which is reaching new heights with gross reservations, smashing records, and creating a vivid picture of adventure and wanderlust. Not to be overlooked is the third one, the innovator in digital identity verification who has woven a tale of security and creativity in a world growing increasingly digital. What distinguishes these businesses, though? Their steadfast dedication to pushing boundaries and rewriting the laws of their respective fields makes them so successful, not simply their skyrocketing sales or market awareness. Number 1. Ardlix. Ardlix's valuation trend has been significantly influenced by IBS RELA's commercial performance. IBS RELA reported $80.1 million in net product sales revenue in the U.S. in 2023, a significant rise from $15.6 million in 2022. This increase in sales is indicative of the increased demand and robust market acceptance of IBS RELA as a therapy for constipation associated with irritable bulb syndrome. Additionally, Ardelix has a successful commercialization strategy and the efficacy of its sales and marketing activities. This is marked by exponential development in IBS RELA revenue. Healthcare professionals use IBS RELA more frequently, representing therapies' beneficial effects on patients' experiences and clinical results. In addition to IBS RELA, the commercial introduction of XPHOZ8 contributed to Ardlick's revenue growth. In approximately fourth quarter 2023, XPHOZH brought in approximately $2.5 million in net product sales revenue despite only entering the market in November 2023. This early revenue contribution highlights XPHOZA's ability to meet unmet needs in patients with hyperphosphatemia. Lastly, XPHOZA's quick revenue creation demonstrates Artelix's capacity to successfully enter new markets and use its commercial skills. Thus, the favorable response from medical professionals and patients highlights XPHOZA's therapeutic utility in managing hyperphosphatemia. Number 2. Despigar Strong revenue growth and gross bookings from Despigar are key factors supporting the company's market value. The firm recorded its greatest gross bookings since its IPO in the fourth quarter of 2023, topping $1.5 billion, a 44% year-over-year gain. After accounting for currency variations, the 78% year-over-year increase in gross bookings was even more astonishing. This growth pattern indicates the substantial demand for Despigar services throughout the Latin American area. Additionally, Despigar recorded total gross bookings of $5.3 billion for 2023, a significant increase of 31% year-over-year. The annual gain in gross bookings stands at 52% when currency changes are taken into account. Notably, Despigar had consistent revenue growth momentum over the year. This underscores the company's competitive advantage and capacity to take a bigger chunk of the Latin American travel industry. Furthermore, the sharpness of Despigar's revenue optimization tactics comes from the company's impressive average take rate of 13.4% in the fourth quarter of 2023. Overall, an increase in take rate indicates that Despigar is progressively monetizing its services. Therefore, it's making a larger profit per transaction, boosting total revenue growth and profitability. Number 3. Mytech. The company's sector success is the primary driver of Mytech's increased market value. The deposits and identity business sectors are the company's two main business segments. In third quarter of 2023, 
deposit revenue climbed by 13% year-over-year. Similarly, in the first nine months of fiscal 2023, it jumped by 35% year-over-year. In the first nine months of fiscal 2023, mobile check deposits reached 925 million transactions. This demonstrates the robust revenue growth of mobile deposit and check fraud defender products. Additionally, MyTech's deposits business sector has strong results. These are fueled by the growing demand for fraud prevention products and the adoption of mobile deposit solutions. Moreover, the double-digit sales increase illustrates MyDex solutions meeting consumer demands and encouraging market uptake. Moreover, identity revenue grew by 19% year-over-year in the first nine months of fiscal 2023 and by 6% year-over-year in third quarter. MyDex identity verification platform has improved with the introduction of new products like MyVIP and MyPass, which meet a variety of digital use cases. Finally, Market studies like Gartner's User Authentication Market Guide include MyTex identification technologies such as ID Face and ID Voice Verified. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.